a first for the country, a process to remove a sitting president via Section 89 of the Constitution is uncharted waters. It is not the same as a motion of no confidence or Section 102 process, which happened in the past under former President Jacob Zuma. A motion is debated in the House while the Section 89 process requires a panel of experts to determine whether there are grounds to remove a sitting president. Political parties have up until 4 p.m. on Thursday to suggest names for the panel. I am expecting that tomorrow the office of Mr. Castle, second Thursday, Thursday, will submit a list of 15 to the Honorable Speaker so that then the Honorable Speaker can pick three names from those names, which three names then will be charged with the responsibility, that is if people agree because they, they are yet to be approached, then the three people will then go through the issues and will be given 30 days and they will make a determination and submit a report suggesting whether in fact there is a case for the president to answer or not. I would like to report that uh, to date we have received submissions from uh, 11 parties. Um, the deadline is today at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, so if the other three parties would still want to submit, we would encourage them to do so before 4. Some of the names that have come up include retired judges and renowned advocates. Former Chief Justice Mokweng Mokweng and former Deputy Chief Justice Dekhang Museneke are amongst the nominees, as well as former Constitutional Court Judges Yvonne Mukhoro and Sisi Kampempe. Advocate Dumisan Sebeza and Bishop Mvume Dandala have also been nominated. The sponsors of the motion to remove Ramaphosa, the African Transformation Movement, wants Ramaphosa to be held accountable over the alleged storage and theft of foreign currency at his Palapala game farm, amongst others. These are men and women of integrity who have served this country with honor and dignity. These are men and women who have always prioritized this constitutional democracy and as the ATM, we have placed our trust in them and on them to once again answer a pivotal call of patriotism. I wait for the speaker to make her own decision, but we rally behind this process of checking whether there's prima facie evidence on the motion that has been put forward. The reason that we have done so is because of the individual and ex uh, collective extensive legal experience. We understand that the Section 89 inquiry is the first of its kind in the South African Parliament as it is the beginning of an impeachment process in the President of the Republic. Therefore, what is needed is a panel that will be impartial, a panel that will have the ruthless application of the law and the rules of Parliament. And we are of the view that this panel will be able to do that. The PAC of Azania would prefer that eminent and trustworthy personalities such as retired judges Bennett Nguyepe, Tekang Moseneke and Bishop Vume Dandala be considered. The reason we forward the name of Bishop Dandala it is because this matter is not only legal, it also touches the question of ethics and morals. This is a uh, wasteful expenditure. A lot of money will be spent on uh, the expert panel and time and then parliament will uh, have to uh, take their recommendations forward and even if the external panel feels that uh, the matter can proceed it's high likely that it will succeed in parliament because of a requirement of a two-thirds two majority so all this for al Jamaa is frivolous is wasteful expenditure. The panel of experts will have 30 days to probe the president before submitting a report to the speaker. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.